Welcome back to the channel to all my loyal viewers and subscribers and welcome to all the new viewers. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a video that went viral of a young policeman by the name of Constable Elliot. It is said that Constable Elliot is stationed in the Westmoreland Division. In the video that went viral, Constable Elliot made some damning allegations against members of the JCF. Most of my subscribers by now would have known that I was once a member of the JCF also. I spent 10 years, three of which I was a part of the operation support team, and the other seven I was a detective. So, I think I have the right to speak on this video. And I can share some insight as to what I must say in the video. I can tell you what I agree with it and what I don't agree with it. So, stay tuned because you definitely don't have to miss it. So first and foremost, I want to start off this video by saying this young man is a very strong young man and I wish nothing but the best. I hope you find peace and solace in any other career that you choose or any other organization that you choose to be a part of. But the police force is not for him. I'm going to tell you guys why I feel like the JCF or the JDF is not a place for Constable Elliot. But before we do that, we are going to play clips of the video and we are going to comment throughout it. So stay tuned. So today I am going to show you the truth about the police force. You hear that? <laughs> Yo, we take a certain oath, you see? So we don't do certain things. Some of them swear upon their life, so they are not going to curl up and they are not going to do this and they are not going to do that. You see? Yeah. It's like... Uh, you see me? They are part of the system too. But watch out now. Me join the police force. I better myself, I better my mother because I love it, you see? I love guns, I never want to be a gunman. But joining at 19 years old, it was a great experience for the two years. But really and truly, the police force is not as how it looks. Because and I government to fight you know. I own a black people in I force them, my friend. The senior police them are fighting you know, every day. As a young youth, they want to charge for this, they want to charge for that, and them do the same thing. Them not them not lead. Lack of supervision and they want to get rid of you. <laughs> Because they see potential now. They see some a man alert, always alert. If I go jump out of my dead with him, but I'm respectful in the streets and the streets love me. You see me? And because of that, you see, because of that, enough of them have a problem. You know. A lot of them have a problem with me. And I give me a fight. I'm going to tell you. You see? I'm back to it. But I join the police first thing, so everything could have gone well. And I tell them I pass the exam, then I do good. Because when you go in, I do exam. Phase 1, 2, 3. Then you have to go back a road, divisional training. Phase 1, 2, 3. You still not get full pay. You see it? But then I have to hold it and finally go out and can grab something. We can enjoy the work. And people then love me because my vibes are road. And the vendor them, I don't run them and say, Move from us. No, I say, Good morning, mom. You can just fix it on the sidewalk so people can walk and have to walk in the road. And mommy would say, All right, thank you, so. And I love you, Messi. I'm man as a police. In the street, the bike man they love me because I say, boss, watch out. I don't want to park so just move it. You see it? Yeah, talk to everybody nice. Because they have to serve and protect. Not for them police on the giant and not bother the people. They go against people their rights. Go against people their rights, you. You hear me? I tell you. And you don't know, get in on a problem. But me as a good youth, it's like you all are not fight, my brother. You know the police force. But what? When I fight, I want to make stronger, my friend. I see my own friend, I'm a train it from turn against me. People, I feed. People, I lend money. We all owe me up to now, I'm gonna take it back because I have a good heart. You see? I'm gonna say, who's not against me? In the police force. I'm not gonna lie, the JCF is a good organization for going as a young youth. You can learn a lot. You can better yourself. You see me? But you see, senior police, them, you know, bad mind. I'm corrupt. You know, you're first member here about corruption. You know, corrupt. You see, all Westmoreland, you want the whole of Westmoreland get dash under, dash under one bush. The whole of Westmoreland more get dashed under one bush. Corrupt. The whole of them have an organization, so. <laughs> Westmoreland corrupt division. Believe me. Yeah, man, if you come down there, someone, they will get rid of you if you have potential. You have no yard. So now, you guys heard the first part of the video. Let me know how you feel about this section in the comment section. And if you know Constable Elliot, send a video to him. 
so him can't hear because me myself but I really want to talk to him because Elliot as a squaddy to a squaddy me I tell you or an ex squaddy me I tell you this you go about the situation the wrong way you may have good intentions with what you want to do or the message where you try to relate to the public but you go about it the wrong way firstly you can't do in an organization and criticize the organization not saying what you are saying is wrong but all you are doing you are setting yourself a fail you are setting yourself against your own squad the same man that we are work with we are talks are corrupt and wicked guess what and then you have to go up and patrol with them can take your life so if you want to expose the JCF as we say you have to wait for you on the outside before you can comfort with all of them things here I see a lot of people are beating on social media for the fuck's sake him say him love gun, that's the reason why him joined the JCF. Him love gun and him didn't want to become a gunman. That's why I'm joined the JCF. People say him have wrong intention. But women are like, and hypocrite people them, and hypocrite police them, we are beat the youth. Because, trust me, none of them police here are join the JCF because they want to serve and protect them. Foolishness. None of them come and tell them bullshit there. Guess what? Them join the force is either because of the opportunity with the force grant you. To make you can elevate yourself from out of poverty because the force is good for that, you know. It can help you, you can use it as a stepping stone to take yourself from out of the ghetto, out of the poverty, and help yourself to be a man in a life. So it's either them join it because of that, or them join it because they love firearm. And that's just the truth. We as a culture, as a Jamaican culture, love gun. And if the police have to come and talk, at least half of them join the JCF. Because of the perception, they just like how police look. They see a police and just feel like, say, yo, I like it. It's not a matter of want to serve and protect nothing. At least half of the force giant because of benefit, or the, and, and the other half giant because they just like the aesthetic of being a police, which comes with carrying a firearm. I don't see nothing wrong with the youth. Say. The youth say, he do not want to become a criminal, say, so become a police. At least he's being honest. He's stating the reason why. He wants to join the force. Not for them to come on them IRS and tell us they join to serve and protect. As I'm saying, fuck with them at that. Truth about police force. Alright, so a lot of persons see police officers and them they are road and them ill treat them and them thing and them blame every police you say. Police are bad people and them hate police people. Me are begging. Them. Don't and don't say the government cause them to do that because you see the training we get professionalism is number one human rights is number one may I tell you because all they are training if you even run past an instructor morning sir good morning sir how are you doing sir yeah and then say continue you have to stop you have to uh, why to look like say two then get such a good training it's like them tired of it cleansiness in a training manners in a training them thing but when them when them come a road it's like a act them did a act like them not taking no night training. You see me? Me see police all a, a lick man off of them bike, a jeep up man a tell man say I'm gonna shoot him. All them threat there and them thing there. And it's not right. It's not right. I'm I'm a totally believe say the government fit 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 start implement some policies where really shake them up because the thing is you know. A lot of Jamaicans don't know them rights, and that's why so much things happen. I'm gonna look upon it. How oh, many people are road? You can't ask anybody in the West, man. How oh, many people? I'm not afraid to walk, and 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 i am not and I remember days when I usually live in a board house before I can live in a concrete house. <laughs> remember days when my roof usually leak and one bought the between me and my mother when I was a little boy. You see me? So when I come around, I have to love the people. Them. So, the thing is, you know, when I first think when a man don't know where I come from, you know, why you treat people so good, you know, why you say someone as a believe? You know? Then feel like, say, yo, you're just a go on like you're better than them. That's just me. I'm just a nice person. So me day I work, I'm a pass all a madman. I'm a take out all the toes and hide and game. You see me? Because I know where me I come from. I know where me I go through. You see me? Thank God for my father. 
And my mother, you see it, I didn't make me reach, I'm a reach. So now when me reach, I'm a reach, I'm a struggle from a young come up. I'm a giant force as a Christian, I'm a tell you, say, as a Christian, you can go in a police force. Believe me, you can. You see me? You go in a police force, you train in your prayer morning time, evening time, see me. You pray over your food, everything, everything is just, it's just nice. And it's a disgrace to see the police, them just, like, I don't know, like, demons take them over and then come around and just start hack up like them a bad man, like them a soldier. You see me? And I don't like it. Like, totally, I don't like it. And I don't agree with them. And certain things that they do, I don't agree with them. Because when I'm there, I road, use my discussion to see me. I can't know, see a man drive from Mobi and he can't lie. So, I take away the car and then the last one, he's going make him have to go in the yard. When I'm de dead now, I do you think it all look bad, man. And I take away the car and he's going dead, though. No, I use my discussion and I say, sir, don't do it again. And next time I do it, I take away your vehicle. And if you do it next time, I take away for real. But at the same time, they not think about the people in safety. You're there for serve and protect. You're there for ill treat the people. You're there for run a vendor them off the road and disrespect them. Because enough of them vendor them. A, 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 a poor people pick me, but guess what? For them pick me a police too. And I can tell you, my grandmother usually sell a market. And my father is a deputy soup. In a police force now, and I mark it. My grandmother usually sell. So certain things, man, I got disrespect poor people because they have to serve and protect. A lot of them forget that and start overdo the thing and start use them power or them powers wrongfully. And me not, me not, me not, me not go uphold with it. So me not care how much of them want to hate me, but you see, training the police get just believe me, say yo, police fear treat people good. Police here tell everybody man in <laughs> to the training what they get. Everybody then see. You see me? Police are neat. Police are clean. Police are clean. Enough police out there, they're not clean and them pants. Dirty and something. No, nah, man, I'm not training there. Stop this the government, man. Because training only get a good training. I mean, all the people then think that every police are the same thing. They say police are corruption, but me understand there are some in the force way. Bad man. Portland is one of the best division I ever work. Portland, division big up on herself. Mr. Richards, Miss Clark, Mr. Daly, big up on herself. Portland is the best division in Jamaica. Them, them look out for you as a young police. Then talk to you, Mr. Elliot, alright, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. Alright, nice, I like how you do, keep it up. Your uniform, and then help you. And say, when you press it, you, you start chasso, and you know, make you feel like you're the home. But you see, West Milan? Channel youth. You know, the worst division may ever come. And right now, things are really a go good like how I want it to go. Because right now, they don't care about my health, they don't care about my mental health. They just have me stop my pay everything and I'm just there and normal. But because I'm a hard working youth, I'm not paying my mind, man. Because I'm a godly youth and everything has to work out, is it? So, as it relates to this part now, I talk to you, Elliot. You, I talk to now, personally, you. When you join the force, you join the force to be liked or to be loved. You deal with people with respect or you deal with people firm. You have understanding the youth. When you come out of training school or you come in the real world. But them teachers training school is basically the theory. But when you come out in the real world now in a society, it's a different thing. So most of the things that you learn are most of the principal laws and police procedures we learn inside the academy when you come on the streets a total different thing so you have to learn to adjust come in a road and I look likes that now to work out you need to come a road do your job or you do your job fair and you do it firm that not mean if a person like you because of that then that good that not mean so you have to come a road and every disorderly conduct or every crime or every offense so you see you, you feel like say you're not going to act on it because y'all look like some people. Trust me, them not like you. Them just like the fact say you give them a break. And me chump this too. The fact say him just have two years service. Him not really understand how the JCF work. You just come from out of training. You not understand how the system really work. To me, based on what you saying in the video here, it seems like say y'all look likes more than all for do your job. And that not gonna work. After do your work as a police officer, a police officer Bridget. You have to understand that. West Milan crime rate and enough for play with right now. The whole of the west, western part of the country. You just see the crime rate down there. 
So you have to understand, sometimes people and criminal deal with you are weird because they know so they can get away with certain things. Force part I three. Police, you know? Hey, may I tell you? Because I don't want to my body, I don't want to my soul either. But I lick out for no fun. See, so all the niggas lock up, I don't treat the prisoner them good. No of them have health issues. I don't want the woman care sugar and water to give them. And dumpling. When, when, when really and children and family sometimes pay the lady where, 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 where they in a bar to cook for them. Cook some nice food for them. You understand? I don't want to ill treat them. Stop certain things. You understand? I'm, I'm dead a few years and I said, No man, I don't like how to deal with the prisoner. I don't ill treat them. And then when they do something and dash water upon them, you know, I go against their rights. I'm going to lick out upon Everyone now no don't they come not afraid of no one to videos and subscribers the same thing me I talk about you know Elliot the whole time depth Elliot no know what go on when it come to this because this statement we make a while ago him totally wrong him wrong till him can't wrong no more listen when prisoner they are jail you know a police in charge so police determine what goes inside the cell and what not to go inside the cell so if the police say no food from outside they have to work with a cook yagi they have to just work with that and you say sugar and water and fried dumpling. That's what the government provide. Police now pay for that and the police pay for that and the government pay for that. When the government pay the cook, because normally the cook for a jail cell is maybe a female or a man from inside of the community where the jail is located. The government pay them and them provide the food for the jail of them. So if I that the poli if I that the cookie cook, they go give the jail of them. I that them have to eat. Elliot, me I wonder if you know sir. When they say the visitor them come and care food for the jailer them, it's a privilege. It's not a right. The government provides three meals a day, every day, seven days a week. So if the police decides to them not to take no food from outside and care go up a cell, then you have to just work with that. You have to work with what your supervisor said. And the next thing me I tell you, Elliot, you and you take the, if you don't take nothing else from out of this video, Take this, jailer and the people for trust. You can deal with them, the body them a human being, you deal with them as I must deal with them fear and you deal with them firm. Jailer is not your friend. You are police, them are criminal. You is a police, them is a criminal. You have to get that in your head. Jailer can deal with you nice because guess what? They want to have certain privilege and when they want to escape from out of the jail, trust me, he's a man like you. Your shift, they are going to escape man. Because they know Elliot and Elliot nice and Elliot do this and Elliot do that. You can't trust jailer. They are teaching at a training school. Jailer and recruit are two things we are not supposed to trust. That's how our instructor always tell you. They don't trust jailer and they don't trust recruit. Because guess what? We are human beings by nature. We don't like to be contained. And a jailer then, jail, all they think about have to come out. When they are going to get released by the judge, or my plan for escape. So when him there and then he be nice to you and he might do this and I do that. Don't take that for you and him as friend. Cause trust me, he's a man like your shift. He might go escape, man. And when he escape, you think he might go say, Elliot, a good boy, so I'm not going to escape. No, don't you get it wrong. As I said, you're young, you're inexperienced, and you talk out of your depths. I forget stitches on him foot, toe him foot, right and shing, there's a tear off. And them think they are cruelty. And I see them think they are my heart, I'm sorry for you, prisoner them. You see me? And that is why I'm not like me. I'm not care. I'm not care if no one like me. I'm not stand up and watch no one ill treat all the prisoners them. You because prisoners them, they are not bad persons as much as they do crime. Them positive. Elliot, you need to pick a side and stay up on the side. Pick a side and stay up on the side. The man say prisoners are not bad people as much as all them commit crime. Maybe he just talk out of emotion and not really understand the impact of what he really has said. The man said prisoners are not bad. So what them doing there for? For being good? That more I know. What them doing in the jail for? For being good? Elliot have a lot more things to say. And you don't know how the thing go on YouTube. We don't want the video to get too long and drawn out. So if you want to find him, him not hard to find. The rest of him talks, not hard to find. But more in closing, more want to say, Elliot, you may have good intention, but you just go about it the wrong way. Him speak pan, a lot of senior police officers are fighting him as a young youth. And that's true. We can't tell the youth where he go to. He must know where he go to. If he not follow rules and regulations, they're going to pressure you. And this now, 
It's like you drive the nail in your coffin or you give the man them the ammunition for shoot with the gun right now. Because you definitely get shot at the force. Right now, this way you do, you know no hopes in the JCF because they're going to use them regulation and push you out. So you're not liable to be an efficient constable and push you out. And the court and nobody can come and revert that. Because they design the system and we where if them push out but not liable to be an efficient constable, you can't get back ever. And trust me, police work is a very hard work for lose. I don't want to work where no SSP, no SP can't come and work tomorrow and tell us you don't come back around. He can't tell that, he can't fire you. Police work is not like that. He's a civil servant and the government here work for you, you work for the soup, you know, work for the inspector, you know, work for the sergeant. But guess what them can do? They can sabotage you, they can send around at the, the, the forest station around now and bush. And they can pressure you. They cannot really answer certain things we're supposed to get and force you out. And the only way that they can get him out. But when you come and when you breach policies of the force, because the force have a social media policy. And this is definitely a breach of it. The man always tell you say you comply, then you complain. But what they complain is not to come on social media and push out the business. It's like say, you there your yard and your mother talk something or you got a road. Go spill it out. Your mother not happy with that. So even if I the truth him attack, the JSF not happy with this way him do. And I show the man attack, you have enough senior police. Enough of them senior police say eh, we are 50 and 60 of a garden yard. Them just talking at them always. So when them see a little youth come with potential, them try to fight them. It's very true. It's very he not tell no lie when it comes to this. Uh. You have some of them police where they police was from in the 80s and 70s. They might tell you for them old time business. For them old time style or old time way of fighting crime. Nah work in a today 2023 year. Nah go work. And them nah get that and them nah go to them yard. Them dead eh? and they make your life as a little young constable are the hardest thing. Make you feel like you don't want to come and work. Come see some of them. Because everything we do is a problem. And them can write you up, carry it to the soup, and the soup can believe them over you. So it's just a organization just like any other any other job in which you have some bad mind supervisor we just try to fight you. Yeah, the same thing. Him not can lie in that regards, but we just feel like Elliot go about the situation the wrong way. If he more have to be the, if he more have to stay in the JCF, if he going to leave, or he made plan for leave, him should have wait until him leave, then him come and put out him expose. But this way I do now, you know, the first thing the police not gonna work with it. No police not gonna work with the youth. So, I don't know how you gonna go about this or how this is gonna end for you, but it's not gonna end good. You say your father is an ESP and trust me, your father gonna get ostracized because of this. Sometimes as a youth you have to think before you come from the media and say certain things. Sometimes we make social media get the best of it. We come and talk things where you can. Because this is where you talk now, you can't retract them things you know, and you make some dominant serious allegation i sure 100% sure say the commissioner of police make aware of this situation i make aware of this post already so you're going to have some serious problem brother but i really think you talk some of them old man they need for god them yard man for them old sergeant there <laughs> the rank of sergeant have the most have the most bad mindset of police trust me God, some of them are sergeant for 20 years and they can't move. They can't make it to the khaki suit, so they're just stuck and they're they just bitter. They feel like little youth, they elevate and see a potential and try to fight it up. But Elliot, you're a young youth still, as I say, you're just 21. So you don't really understand how the force works. And I can tell you this youth, prisoner is your friend. Most of them people out of the road are skin up and laughing, they're not your friend. They are not your friend them. They are your friend because you allow them to do certain things. When the corporal tell us if you take out the people in vehicle, take out the people in vehicle, comply and then you complain. We know you know of that saying where you learn from in a training school. Comply then you complain. You can't tell the sergeant or the corporal say you know how do your job you. It's like say you do a work or your boss tell you to do something and you can tell him say you know how to do it. No, you can't you can't go about it that way. Even though he can't fire you, but he can write you up. I want to give you this advice, you know, when you either go sign up for the JCF, none of them person eh, never did that with you. You're alone, go. You're alone, left your yard, go do your test, do the whole procedure for reaching the force. So you don't make them, because of them, make you lose your work. Make you lose your work because of your own doings, or what you want to do. Not because of nobody else, make you lose your work to you. And this so you don't know, you just come like say, all of your hard work where you put in. To go through the process because to become a police is not an easy thing. 
trust me, it's not easy. And for you go through all of that, and then for come kick over your blessings this way, you. It really hurt me. As I'm saying, hope nothing but goodness for you. Hope you're blessed, and hope this can be resolved in the best way. But my advice to you, I feel left you force. If they may kick you out, in which me know they may kick you out. But anywhere else you go, you have to learn to adjust and operate within the boundaries or within the surrounding where you're there. You can't deny the JCF and I criticize the JCF. So this is just my two cents for the matter. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Let me know if you agree with me or say, or me or say foolishness. Just let me know how you feel, let me know your thoughts and how you feel about Elliot in the comment section. So we can have a discussion there. And like I always said, remember to hug your loved ones. See you in the next video. Thank you.